you are welcome back so this is the second video on built-in functions but this particular area is built-in functions used in string processing so i would like us to quickly understand what string processing is all about first string processing is a character which are made up of letters numbers or special characters like for example we can write thousand that is a string character if we write name we can put dollar sign in front of it so if you look at the screen from the line 2 to line 11 you will see some built-in functions written there so one thing is that if you click and type any of it if it's a string it will show you see right if i still remove that if i type left it will show so if i put e o f it will show so these are built-in functions that we can also use as part of our unlike the first one which is mathematical expression that we can use a mathematical expression this particular one we can use it when we are using a st string unlike the value that we have been working with since so what we we'll do is that we will write some programs about this and there's one thing you need to understand because this particular one we always write program maybe in basic program or other programming language in sequential form what it means is that it has to be arranged in ascending order so that is why you always see it line one line two like on the screen now that you see line 11 so it means they must be written accordingly in ascending order you cannot take what is supposed to be in line 10 to line 3 it will not work because when we say line 1 what it means in the computer is that you are talking about a particular memory location that is where that instruction will be saved so that is what this line is all about you are interacting directly with the memory location all right so all these built-in functions that are listed on the screen let's quickly look at what they are used for so this right returns the rightmost character of a string that is the rightmost when we are writing the program you will understand it better what about the left this line three left returns the leftmost character of the string that is that is what it will show you when you use print statements with it what about mid mid we show you the starting of a location in the middle what about len so len returns the number of a character in a string that is the length that's what it means like if you have a b c if you count it a1 b2 c3 is what three numbers so that's what len will return what about i n s t r so that returns the position where one string is found within another string all right so what about str it converts numeric value to a string that is it will change numeric value to a string what about val val does the opposite it converts a string to a numerical value all right what about the chr this returns character represented by a given ascii code and there's another one we call space which returns a sequence of blank space that is that is what it will give you that is what that built-in function is all about then there's eof that's end of file 
so it indicates end of file in a sequential file and always remember this line you are writing one after the other is a memory location you are interacting with so friends let me show you a simple example of a built-in function but before we do that there's something i would like to explain to you this word concatenation concatenation so what is the meaning of concatenation this refers to addition of two or more strings to form a new string because most of these built-in function that is this in string processing we always use it to either to remove something or to add another string together and that's the word concatenation so let's write a simple program okay let me show you a simple program all right look at this program on the screen rem concatenation so we represent the string that is hello with x dollar then word with x dollar now when we come to line four we use z dollar equal x dollar plus quote quote plus y dollar plus a programmer then print z dollar so when we run the program let's see what it will give us that's how we can use concatenation you see it shows hello world programmer and if you look at it in line four that is where we now plus put plus and programmer to add another word to what we have as x dollar hello y dollar word so that's an a another way we can use this particular instruction and we call it concatenation so by the time we test other ones you will understand it better than before so let's look at another instruction so so this particular instruction let me remove this and let's put another one and please if watch something when we are writing this program that at times we can separate by comma we can separate by semicolon and we can separate by colon it depends on what we want it to give us so but get used to it so i will put y dollar okay let me write what the program is all about rem a program to show to show concatenation concatenation All right so so i will put y then put dollar because it's a string so equal so put quotes all right so for more video so just watch what this will show for more video okay and the code has to be at the back for more video so all right so let me start with x then this one let me use y you can use any figure on or letter you want equal then I'll put quote subscribe to okay, to my channel then z with dollar it has to be close z dollar equal you know i already have x dollar so x 
Mela. So watch this. So I will put plus, then quote quote, then I will put y dollar, which is like the former one. All right. So let's test this program. I want to show you something. If we put plus in a program, what it will show us, and when we put comma, what it will show us. Okay. So let me run the program. Okay, there's a simple, there's a, there's an error somewhere. X dollar plus. Okay, let me separate this. Let me separate this first. Right. let me debug the error I'm not sure that is where the problem is okay let me move this back let me run it and see if that is not the problem then I will find out. Okay. All right. The quotes. Z. Y. Okay. There is a plus missing here. All right. So let's test. All right, I think there's still an error somewhere. All right. All right, let me use another type. Okay, I understand what the problem is. I'm not supposed to use Z here. So, what I'm supposed to use is that I have to use print. So now let me test that print with that's why it's not showing anything. You know, remember print statement is what will show us. So that's the simple maybe problem at times that we encounter in programming plus y dollar sign. Now let's test this and see. You see. For more video, subscribe to my channel. All right, now let's go back. So I will still use that print statement in another form. Print. So I will now put. Let me use X dollar because that's what I have in line two. Then I will separate it with semicolon. Then I will put Y dollar dollar sign. All right, so let me test it again. You see, for more video, subscribe to my channel, which is still the same thing. All right, so now let me go back, let me go down, then I will write print Z. So I want to see. Which one will be better? Z dollar. So let me run it. You see? So it means the last one and the second and the third, they are the same. They are showing the same thing. For more videos, subscribe to my channel. So that is the way we can use concatenation. But you know, I can still use only print statement to display this but it depends on what you want to show but by the time we run some other programs you will understand it more better so let's write another program using the string processing built-in function so this is just to show you how we can use concatenation all right rem using writes And 
and and left function right so we start with x dollar so I will give a gap equal then open quotes international then quote close All right then I will go down then I will now represent my left with L dollar so I will say equal to I will say left dollar then in brackets in dollar so I will put x dollar comma then two what I'm saying is that you will understand it after writing this program so I will now say half for the right equal right I will still put dollar then I need a bracket so since I'm still working with the line 2 so I will just put x dollar comma it's now I will use print print x dollar comma l dollar you know everything written there put L comma R dollar. All right, so let's run this program and see whether it will work. You see, international. So now, if you look at line two to the left, to the left hand side, I instruct the program to pick two letters so it pick i n and in our line four i ask it to to pick eight letters from the right hand side and it pick national so let me run the program again two letters to the left of international is i n while eight letters to the left to the right is national so I believe you understand that. Okay. Now let's write another one. So this particular one, I will just change some few things. So instead of me using international here, I will change this to world health. World health. Okay. Or well, let me use capital letter or true. World health. okay word eight so now for my left I will change it to five because if you can't what is five so I will change it to five and to my right I will still change it to six all right so it's still the same thing print X L and R so let's run the program you see from the word word eight, I've splitted it into two, and I now have word I have eight, not in a splitted way. All right, so that's the way we use right and left concatenation. All right, now let me use mid, which is one of our. So I will remove from here. And delete. So 
do I put mid then put dollar then put function then go down so I put x in dollar equal so I still need word else so let me use quotes world health then close the quotes I can decide to leave it this way or give gap between the two so then I will now represent my M with dollar sign equal equal mid okay it has come mid then dollar sign then bracket open so I will put x x dollar comma I want to split it into two so I'll put six put six then I will now go down and print that is display what is in M dollar sign so if you don't put the dollar sign let's see what will happen you see zero because we don't put that dollar sign so let's put the dollar sign so let's run the program you see health that's the word that is the word i ask it to show for me so which is mid returns character string starting at location m that is what i instruct it to do for me to pick only six so now there's another one i would like us to use learn to do so let me change this i will still use x so i will just edit something here so i will put the word international i believe we are following international then this one will be learn all right so then instead of m here i will change it to only hell hell then i only have x dollar then print hell because line three is hell all right let's run the program and see wow this is simple there is a uh, there is an error there yes this is supposed to be len because i edited it so len so let's run the program now you see so if you count the word international is 13 letters so that is why you have 13 international you can write it down and count it is 13 letters so that is what we can use lens for all right now we like us to write another one so are we so this one is also right so I will use it together right comma left that's what we want to write the program about my dollar comma the mid 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 with dollar comma and len 
learn functions so that's what we want to write this about so i will change this because i still need this so i will change this to a word at okay let me use hello word i think that will be better hello word in capital letter world all right that's good so that's i represent that with x dollar hello world then the next line i will now use left okay left x dollar comma then i will put five which is what i want it to work on then i will go down i will use r for the next one equal right equal right bracket you know i'm still on the same x dollar so I'll put x dollar comma then i will now i will still put five which is what i wanted to separate and then i will go down for my mid i will put mid okay it has come up and then m okay let me use small m dollar equal mid 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 dollar then i will now split this bracket open so i have x and then i will put four i will put three all right so my l now that's for len equal len okay len okay len brackets open x and dollar all right so i wanted to print everything so i'll put print the first one x dollar comma l dollar there must be a dollar eh? l dollar comma r dollar comma m dollar comma and l all right so let's test the program let's run it wow there's an error so let me go back and correct the error and the bug hmm. x dollar equal l word l dollar equal left okay that's where the error is if you carry dollar sign you see because it's a string the mid dollar okay i think it should work now all right you see hello what for the left and for the right that's why it is splitted into two then in between that is that's why i separated it that is the mid with four and three so it gave me low that is we can still extract a word out of that and the letter is what 10 hello that's five word five so you see so i believe you can this will help you in one way or the other to write a program all right so i would like us to quickly do 
something here so which is another string processing built-in function so rem val and and str with dollar statement statement okay so let's write the program so what we do is that we write a equal a equal 120 let's use that 120 we can use another one then let's separate it with colon then b equal 280 all right then we now say a dollar equal equal str with dollar it has to carry dollars huh? then bracket a bracket a then the same thing goes for b we can use any letter but let's stick to what we've been using so we now put str again with dollar sign then bracket open then we we'll put b b okay then let's go down so we can now represent this one with m a equal val brackets open and we put a dollar the mb equal val again then we put b with dollar all right then when i say c equal a T B you see there's another built-in function but I don't need that A T B then I can I say C dollar equal A dollar equal plus b dollar then go down then m equal m a plus remember m b print print c with the last one huh? we'll put equal sign huh? then close the quotes then semicolon then c dollar again then let's use print print and then you remember we need 
it or put equal and then close the quotes and then semicolon and then you now have hem all right let's test this program and see what it will give us you see it's showing c dollar equal 120 then b dollar 280 the m that is additional of the two is 400 that's the main uses or use of concatenation we have added them together and to get another better value all right but you know i can still write this same program in another way using print statements so it depends on what you want so let me write it in another way all right so i will now use the val and whatever so now i will run to add 120 and and 280 so it depends on what you want to write you remember that's that was what i said in my first video so look at what i write now to, to get that same result equal 120 and then b equal to 80 the c equal a plus b remember this is a simple one but our main focus today is to advance our basic programming knowledge and that's what we have been doing since so then we say print then put quote a equal a equal then close the quotes a equal then put a then print again okay let me copy this now we just change so and this one will be b and this will be b then go down then i can use that same thing for c so i'll just change the value c and c all right let's run the program and see you see a equals to 120 b equals to 280 and c equal 400 which is still the same thing but we need to advance our basic knowledge i believe from that built-in functions used in processing string you can now understand that it depends on how you want to write your program now lastly friends let me write this last program i will remove this still on string processing using instr statement statement all right so let's start equal Then close the quote so that you see how this work to and you 
okay so I'll pick that the bracket open then put a in dollar with he like this then go down print hand so if you run this let's see okay there's a little there's an error somewhere cdfg and all right my e has to be in quotes before it will know what i'm talking about so that's how you correct error in program all right let's test now all right there's still pro a problem in that line all right let me check what the problem is n equals instr bracket a dollar okay there's a mistake here i have to use comma so let me test you see five that is what is the position of e so if you count a b c d e so it's five so what about g what is the position of g in this a b c d e f g you see seven so what was what the position of a let's test that a a should be one you see so that is a simple program too so now friends i would like us to look at looping that's another thing i would like us to look at but i would like us to do that in our next basic program so this is the second part of our program so the third part is what we're going to learn looping from so thank you friends so watch out for the third part of this basic programming